I get asked this question all the time. How do I share a document securely? I don't want people out there printing it, saving it down to their computer. I wanna share my file from OneDrive or SharePoint and I just want them to be able to view it. How do I do that? Well, let's dive in and have a look. Okay, so I'm now here inside OneDrive. Remember, this works whether you're in OneDrive or in SharePoint. You're not gonna get caught out if you're in SharePoint. The user experience is pretty much the same. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna share out this awesome new product release document, but we don't want any funny business. We don't want people downloading it, printing it, or any of that jazz. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the file, and then at the top here in the ribbon, we're gonna go ahead and select share. Firstly, we're gonna go set up the access to this file. So we need to select anyone with the link can edit. And then first up, it's gonna ask us, who would you like this link to work for? You know, anyone is, pretty much as you would expect, anyone with the link can access the file. We then have people in Contoso with the link and Contoso is my company in this case. So yours is gonna say your own organization name there. So that really means you can only share this file internally within your organization. And the next one I wanna just spend some time talking about is specific people. This means we can share internally or externally. And we're gonna share to a Gmail account. So this is the one we're gonna choose. And now under other settings, well, we wanna get this block download to enabled. You know, we're really trying to secure this file. Again, we don't want any funny business. So what we need to do is untick allow editing. That lights us up for us. And we can now go ahead and select block download. So at this point, we're now saying specific people can actually access this file. So we need to name them by email. And we're not gonna allow editing and block that download. So let's go ahead and select apply. And now I'm gonna go ahead and actually add the user's email address. So now that we've selected the email and we can see here, it's clearly saying that you know, my guest user zero is outside of your organization. We could go ahead and put a message. Um, you could copy the link and send it some other way, or you can send it via Outlook. We're just gonna go ahead and just click send and it's gonna send an email straight to the user. So now we're inside Gmail, we can already see that we got an email saying that Harry Loughton has shared his awesome new product release with you. So let's go ahead and select this email. We can see that our document is here. You know, this link only works for this direct recipient of the message. So you know, it's adhering to the access that we set up. So let's go ahead and hit open. As this is a secure link, we just have to go ahead and sign in just to prove that you know, we are who we say we are. So let's go ahead and click next. So now that the file is open, the first thing that we can see is it says, look, you don't have permissions to download or print this file. So we're already looking pretty good here. Also, I can't do any right click. I don't know if you can hear that in the microphone, but I tried right clicking, nothing came up. We have a couple of ellipses up here or a more button. Nothing again, we can't download it, we can't print it. So I would say as a success, we've shared a file out to a Gmail account. They can't download it, they can't print it, they can't do as we say, any funny business with this file. So the last thing I wanna show is just how you can revoke that access as well. So let's dive over back to my OneDrive. So now we're in OneDrive again, let's look at how we can revoke access to this file. So I'm gonna select the file, and then on the top right, I'm gonna to go to the eye here, so open up the details pane. And then we can see in the middle, we've got this has access. Let's select manage access. And then we can see all the links giving access to this file. So we've got here, you can see kind of this icon, my guest user, you can drop that down and I could remove just access to the user. But if we wanna remove the link altogether, maybe we've got multiple users on there, we can just hit the more actions option and then at the top here, I'm just gonna do remove link. And then it's gonna say, hey, you know, this is gonna affect everyone who uses this link. Are you sure you wanna do it? Of course we're sure, we're doing it. So I'm gonna do delete link. And now the link is gone. The external user can't access the file anymore. Well, that's all I wanted to show. Hopefully you found that helpful on how to block downloads in OneDrive and SharePoint. Make sure you like, subscribe, and we'll see you soon for another video.